Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I got a few messages in some of the comments that people sent me over the video I did earlier this morning, which you guys should be able to find easy enough, discussing why you guys shouldn't be worried about your testosterone levels. And then I get people who go, but Jason, I'm not making any gains, so it must be low testosterone, or I really do have low testosterone. My numbers came back 200, 250, 300 nanograms per deciliter. Now to the first question, you don't have low testosterone if you're not gaining muscle. Eunuchs gain muscle. In fact, men who've been castrated gain muscle faster than women because they still have more testosterone. Even with no testicles, they still have better muscle fiber distribution and women still gain muscle. So if, if you're not gaining any muscle, either your training sucks, your diet sucks, or your rest sucks. Or you're just one of those very, very genetically unlucky no-gainers, in which case if you're a, the no-gainer, which is a very, very tiny demographic genetically, Weightlifting, steroids, nothing will put muscle on you. You can't gain muscle. So if that's the case, then give up on it. And, and I really do mean that. If nothing puts a single ounce of muscle on you, then you probably have that no-gainer gene. Like 1% of people have it, 2% of people, it sucks. But you will never gain any muscle if you have that. Now as to the others, you've got to look at it this way. Well, what can you do? You need to fix what you broke in your body. And what I mean is, the majority of people who exhibit temporary low testosterone is because they've abused their body in some way. Either excessive alcohol consumption, you're very obese and have a terrible diet, you've dieted really hard and you've lost fat too quickly, or you've dieted down too lean for a natural. And if you ever competed in a bodybuilding show, then yes, you have dieted too lean for a natural. Everyone who diets down for a bodybuilding show drug-free has low testosterone almost across the board when you get their blood work done. And it might take you several months to get it back. So if you're concerned about having low testosterone levels, don't compete in natural bodybuilding. It's not healthy and it's not a good idea unless it just happens to be your passion. So as to the, these points, these are things that can generally be corrected. And the worst ones, the guys I feel the worst for are the guys who started with slightly low testosterone because they were obese. Being obese can increase aromatase because a lot of the aromatase activity, which is conversion of testosterone to estrogen, happens in your fat tissue. So if you're carrying a lot of fat, you'll convert more testosterone to estrogen. Your total testosterone will come down a bit as a result of it. So you could have low testosterone just from a shitty diet and being obese. The problem comes so a lot of these people work really hard, they lose weight, they lose 100 pounds. And then because they've lost weight relatively quickly, it gets even worse. So their already low testosterone goes lower, they go to the doctor, they come back testing at 250 nanograms per deciliter. And they go, oh no, I'm screwed. You're probably not. Believe it or not, once your weight normalizes, once you bring yourself back up to maintenance calories for a while, let's say you were 300 pounds, you diet down to 180, you're now healthy, you've gained some muscle, you have a healthy lifestyle, you're lifting weights, probably doing cardio, your diet is probably a hundred times better than it was when you were 300 pounds. Once you go back to maintenance calories and you stay at 180 pounds, or you're able to increase your calories a little bit, what you're gonna find is that your testosterone levels will over time start coming back up. Now that you're healthier, you probably haven't permanently broken. it. Unless you're getting quite a bit older now, if you're 40 years old, you might be suffering andropause anyways. But if you're down in your 20s, no, just give it time. Continue with your healthy lifestyle. You're lifting, eating a good balanced diet. No more cutting or dieting once you've stopped losing weight. Those levels will probably normalize or eventually and you'll end up being back up at 400, 450, something like that after a few months. Same thing for any of you guys who said, oh, I want to cut hard. Well, one of the consequences of cutting hard and losing two pounds of fat a week, if you're not pretty overweight already, is that your hormones are going to crash. Any sort of rapid fat loss diet will make a mess of your hormones. Your thyroid is going to be out of whack, your testosterone out of whack, your leptin, ghrelin, everything. Everything's going to go crazy. And that's the consequence that you pay for that. It can make your life a living hell for a while, but eventually, most of the time, the vast majority of the time, those hormone levels are going to return to normal once your diet returns to normal. But in the meantime, you're going to have to suffer, and that's the price you pay for cutting fast. Another reason I don't recommend it, reduce quality of life. Same with the guys who did the contest prep. 
the overwhelming majority of you guys who cut down under about 8% body fat, or you guys who try to stay under 10% body fat year round with no drugs, we give you a little tip. It's not going to work out for you as well as you think it is. Your testosterone levels are going to eventually drop down. They're going to stay down until you get yourself back up to a healthy range. It's probably not healthy for you as an active male to be under about 10% body fat for hormonal reasons. Just like it's not healthy to be above 20% for most of you, it's not healthy to be under 10%. There's a nice big range that is healthy, it's athletic, it's good for your overall body, and when you start going outside of that range too far or too low, it's going to be negative consequences on a lot of things in your body, and hormones and testosterone would be one of them. You're eventually probably going to have low testosterone. And so for you guys who've done that, once you bring yourself back up to a normal body fat, and I know a lot of guys who I've talked to who've done contest prep natural, their levels return to normal eventually. It might take two months, three months, four months. But eventually, after they've come back up to about 10, 11% body fat, their, their hormone levels start stabilizing again. They come back up. And they're back where they were, but that's the price you're going to pay. Now, the reason these reverse diets are silly, don't even get me started on reverse dieting, there's some problems with long reverse diets and making people wait too long to get back to a healthy body fat percentage after a contest prep is really just keeping you reliant upon a coach so that you're paying them money and they're not really doing you a service. So there you have it guys. If you really do have these things, they're almost guaranteed to be caused by some lifestyle factor, in which case when you're go back to a proper healthy lifestyle, that doesn't mean supplementing stupid shit like ZMA, which is dangerous in my opinion or using some test booster, it means returning back to a healthy body fat percentage, a healthy dietary intake, and an overall healthy lifestyle without a bunch of recreational drugs and plenty of sleep. Your, nor your levels of testosterone will normalize. And if they don't, and you're that rare exception, then you're probably going to need TRT. Talk to an endocrinologist and get something worked out. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. And a lot of people have asked me if I'd every now and then close with a calf shot after they've seen my calves. And yes, my calves are 18 inches and I don't train them at all, other than squats. I'll give you guys a calf shot.